Welcome to Viral Sweep. Let's get started setting up your first sweepstakes. By filling out this form, we will automatically create four different styles for you. A full page, a widget, a pop-up, and a light box. You can use any of these styles right on your own website. First, we're going to start by entering our sweepstakes title. You can click on the question mark icon at any time to get a helpful tip if you are confused or want to know more information. You can also use HTML directly in the sweepstakes title field to style your text. Next, we'll choose our start and end dates as well as our start and end times. You can even select your own time zone and the date format. By default, people can enter one time, but you can enable daily entry if you want to have them come back every day to enter. Next, we'll input the number of winners that we want to have. This step is required as we will need to know the number of winners in order to be able to draw them when the sweepstakes ends. By default, we will show the number of winners on the sweepstakes, but if you want to remove this text, simply check this box to hide it. Now we will upload the images for our campaign. To see the image sizes that are needed, click the question mark icon. First, we'll upload our logo. By default, we hide the logo from the widget and lightbox styles, but if you want it to show up, check this box. Now we'll choose our product images. Again, you can click this question mark icon to get the proper sizes. You can upload as many images as you want and they will show up as a slideshow on your sweepstakes. The last image to upload is the background image, which shows up only on the full page style. You can choose from our library of preset background images, or you can upload your own image. Next is our social engagement section. The beauty of Viral Sweep is that we allow you to award bonus entries to people for performing social actions. You can add any of your pages simply by choosing them from the menu. For this example, we'll add our website and our Facebook page. You can alter the text that will appear next to each action by typing in the box. By default, we will show you these social share buttons on your sweepstakes. To remove any of them, simply check the box. Next is the social question. This is exclusive to the full page style only. You can ask people a question after they enter in which they can respond to via Facebook comments. This is a great way to get people talking and commenting on your sweepstakes. Next, we have the official rules. You can paste your own rules in the box, or you can use our template. Simply fill in your company details, click Save, and we will automatically generate a set of rules for you. Once the rules are generated, you can click inside the box and edit any of the text. By default, we require entrants to check off a box that says they agreed to the rules, but you can remove this if you want by checking off this box. Next, we have the hosted URL. This is the page on your website where you will be placing the Viral Sweep code snippet. If you don't want to place it on your website, leave this field blank and we will supply you with a direct link to your sweepstakes that you can use. On our paid plans, you have the ability to add more form fields to collect more information from users. You can add name, address, telephone, or your own custom forms. Our paid plans also offer advanced options, with features like language translation, custom social share text, modifying the amount of entries awarded, editing button colors, sending email notifications, and more. Now that the form is completed, click Done. We're back at our Viral Sweep dashboard, and here's the sweepstakes we just created. You will see that the code snippet for each style is available to you. Just copy the code and place it on your website where you want the sweepstakes to show up. To preview your sweepstakes, click the View tab. Here is the sweepstakes we just created in the widget style, the full page style, the pop-up style, and the lightbox style. 
Now that you've seen each style, let's test out entering so you can see how Viral Sweep's system works. Once you enter the full page, this is what you will see. You are notified of the number of entries you have, you're provided with a referral link that you can share with friends to get more entries, and then we have our social actions that you can perform to earn additional entries. Finally, at the bottom here, we have our social question, which people can respond to via Facebook comments. The widget behaves much like the full page. Once you enter, you are again presented with the social actions that you can complete. The pop-up is a simplified style, which asks just for an email address. This is great for putting on your website to collect emails from casual visitors. The social sharing options are also simplified as well. Finally, our Lightbox style acts like our widget, however it pops up for the user when they land on the page. The social sharing options are also provided to them once they enter their information. I hope this tutorial was helpful in showing you how to set up your first campaign. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at help at vitalsweep.com.